Salutations, I'm Chappers. And I'm Rabir. And we're in Minnesota. We are indeed, we're at Rift City Guitar. Yeah, today we've got these awesome projects from Gretsch. Yeah, and in fairness to Gretsch, they are stunning looking guitars. Yes, they do a thing with the look, and they do a thing with the sound and the playability, and one might be forgiven for strapping one and thinking, ah, now I need to play jazz or blues or something sensible, but you don't need to. They play all sorts of things that you might throw at them mentally. They're, they're genuinely awesome. I mean, for me, I love the color of this one in particular. This is Tangerine Sparkle. Um, and yeah, they're made in China, but they're awesome. They're really lightweight. The pickups sound wicked. They've got a very uh, like unique tone, don't they? It's kind of a thick, but jangly tone. Yeah. So it's nice for straight up rock rhythm style. <laughs> Which sounds absolutely awesome. I was just settling in for the long run with my Fender cup here while oh, you, you were, were playing some delicious sounding, wonderful uh, riffy tones on your Gretsch project. Well, there you go. These are ridiculously affordable. They are. Three ninety nine US dollars. Yes. And more to the point, these colors are unique to Riff City Guitar. Yep. Yeah, so we're holding all three of the unique Riff City Guitar colors. I have the Surf Green. This is the Tangerine Sparkle. And this is yet to be named, and we figured maybe it would be kind of cool if you guys could help Riff to name this colour. Something involving the words Valkyrie, Elephant, um, Sunshine, uh, Love, and Rainbows. Blonde? Blonde. As well. <laughs> but anyway. Well, Joe's daughter Ellen is blonde. Yes. So they could just call it Ellen. They oh, could. It's entirely up to you. There you go. Come and help them pick the name. So in terms of availability on these, these are $3.99 whilst the pre-orders are going down and they're going to be available in the middle of October. Yeah, I guess you call it a special run, but basically they're going to keep on making them if you keep on buying them. Yeah, these are exclusive Rift City guitar colours. And then the final, the blonde, which doesn't have a name yet, but we're going to call it the blonde, it's going to be ready for around February time. You know, I can't help but notice how much more delicious my coffee is to this wonderful Fender coffee mug. Yeah, but it depends which kind of Fender coffee mug you've got, because I have a Fender coffee mug that I prefer for a reason. There you go, from my wonderful assistant, Les, there. Um, so this is my Fender coffee mug. This has got a nice bowl feature to it, which means you can fit more coffee in the mug and therefore drink more. <laughs> and therefore... <laughs> Anyway, more on the guitars. Let's do some clean tones and talk about the controls and then do some more dirty tones Yes. in a, in a mixture of tonal demonstration. Okay, so as Rob's still got his Fender coffee mug in his hand, I'm going to go ahead and show you some clean tones. Running through the Victory Sheriff 22 with a Polara in the loop and here is bridge pickup tonage. <laughs> Oh man, you know what, I really think the sparkles add to the tone. I thought that was an extra sparkly tone. It was really sparkly. The tangerine tone. It had spark. a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit of Christmas magic in it is what it had there. It certainly did. Yes, it really did. Really so um, let me do the absolute polar opposite and give you some filth tones with the surf green. By the way, you've got master volume, mm -hmm. and then I believe you've got two volumes of the tone, yeah. and then a three-way. Mm -hmm. So you've got a whole load of stuff you can do with it if you want to do all that stuff. So basically, now I'm going to give you some filth tones on the Projet Surf Green. Projet Surf Green. Yeah. Try that. That's a tongue twister for you. Um, and I'm going to do bridge pickup, then Beer's going to do clean bridge pickup. Here comes my dirty bridge pickup. <laughs> Kind of, it's just like it's thick. plinky, but yeah, plinky, thick. thick and chewy, thinky, thicky plink. Right. So now I'm going to go and show you the middle position again on a clean sound. I'm loving your Polara. I am. It's a nice amount of decay on that bad boy.
right? Yeah. So may as well show your neck on clean. Sounds lovely. Neck on the filth. That would sustain That's, forever, but it's infinity sustain. That was great. I was going to say, you've got a lot of sustain on that. It would never end. No. And neither, I'm sure, will these being sold ever end because they're so lovely. Again, this is one of those situations where I'm going to give you my 100% honest opinion of this guitar. It's awesome. It looks great. And to be honest, it plays as well as you'd expect a good guitar to play and it just sounds good. I mean, I would use this in the studio and recording because it has its own sound. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and really I really does. enjoy it. I'm going to give you a quick, quick, dirty riffage on the old bridge pickup because it sounds great. <laughs> I've also really enjoyed always the way that Gretsch do their strap yeah. buttons. Because you know when you get a guitar and then you go, oh, I've got to put a strap on it, and you spend hours trying to get it over the strap button, mm. and it's really irritating, and you just wish you hadn't done that. With these, you don't have to. You can just unscrew them. I'm just going to say, Gretsch and Riff City, you're doing it right with these guitars. Doing it right. Hey, let's hold them up in such a fashion as it could become a thumbnail. And there you go. I've been Rob Chappers. I've been Rabir. We wish you well and see you later.